Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on WW Personal Point. Happy Friday. It is Friday, so it is post Hawaii vacation weigh-in day. It is also WW workshop topic recap. I'm going to share with you some unfortunate news as well as what my plans are moving into this next week. So if you're excited, give this video a big huge thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not because I do a weigh-in video every single Friday and I upload five videos per week. Check out the description box down below where you will find nutrition coaching. I offer personalized to you macros and calories. I cannot recommend this enough. This is how I have been successful with over 125 pounds of weight loss and I also offer one-on-one -on -one coaching if you would like to chat with me directly. Links, discounts to my favorite things and last but not least, come join our Facebook group. We would love to have you. So let's jump into my post vacation weigh-in, the WW workshop topic, the unfortunate news and let's set some goals moving into the new week. had an amazing week. Thank you to everybody who reached out to me via Instagram and Facebook direct message and commented on all of the pictures from my trip to Hawaii. My plan is to do an entire vacation recap with lots of photos in this next Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day. So make sure you're subscribed and your bell's turned on so you don't miss that video. But if you didn't know, if you don't follow me over on Instagram or you haven't watched my most recent videos, I just returned from an almost week long trip to Hawaii. I took a little girl's trip with my best friend and my mother-in-law. We went to my mother-in-law's granddaughter's wedding on the Black Sand Beach in Hawaii. It was beautiful. And then we decided to make a vacation out of it, a little girl's trip out of it. It was an absolutely incredible, incredible time. So definitely stay tuned for Wednesdays. What I eat in a day, I'm gonna share with you my entire trip and we took a ton, and I mean a ton of photos. Also quickly, I did not track on my vacation. Not one day did I track my food. I ate mindfully. I enjoyed everything. I ate anything I wanted on my trip. I just did my best to make the healthiest choices, which in my opinion is the best way to vacation and to make your vacation not focused on food. I did not go to Hawaii thinking about food. I went to Hawaii thinking about all of the experiences that I was going to have and then food just fit in where food fit in. And I feel like I did a really good job navigating vacation. The unfortunate news is on the final day of my trip in Hawaii, my best friend and I took a nighttime manta ray snorkeling cruise where we got to get in the water with the manta rays and when we first boarded the boat they asked us to move to the front of the boat the bow of the boat to do a safety presentation before the boat moved to our destination for snorkeling so i was walking through the cab of the boat up into where the captain is and i stepped out of the captain area of the boat and i don't know if i stepped wrong if it was my flip-flop that i was wearing but i fell, sort of. I mean, I didn't fall completely to the ground, but I fell and had to catch myself on the side of the boat. And in the process, just twisted my right foot. I don't know if I sprained my ankle, twisted my foot, sprained my foot. I have no idea, but there was immediate pain. I was able to walk on my foot. I actually did the excursion and just took it really easy, climbing back into the boat. And by the time we got back to shore and I was walking up the really steep hill to get to our car, my foot was just throbbing and on fire. So my best friend, as sweet as she is, put together a little ice bag for me and got me cozy in bed and covered my foot with ice. And I was was able to ice and elevate my foot the night before we flew home. It was hard walking through the airport. I think that I sprained my ankle because that's where a lot of the pain and pressure is. It's a little bit swollen. So since I've been home, I've been keeping my feet up and icing it at night. In fact, my feet are up right now on a chip box and a pillow under my desk just to help elevate my foot. I'm grateful that it happened on the last day, but it's really putting a damper on my workouts because I can barely walk around and my foot gets really throbby and sore and inflamed and swollen when I walk a lot. So since I've returned home from my trip, which was just a couple of days ago, obviously my workouts are out for a little while. I actually checked in with my fitness coach this morning, let her know what happened. 
I'm not sure what this is going to look like for my workouts, how long it's going to take my foot to heal. I also asked her if I was able to maybe go to the gym and do upper body, if as long as I wasn't putting any pressure on my foot. So I'll let you guys know in Wednesday's video as well what the update is on my workout. So I am really, really food focused right now because I'm unable to go to the gym, which really bums me out. To be completely honest with you, the minute that it happened, I said to Rachel, my best friend, I'm like, what does this mean for my workouts? That is the first thing that came to my mind. It wasn't, oh my gosh, my foot hurts, or what did I do, or how am I gonna finish this tour? It was, oh my goodness, my workouts. That's how important my fitness is to me, and that's the part that's the hardest for this. I mean, besides the pain, is knowing that I'm not going to be able to work out for, I don't know how long, a week to maybe even longer. So overall, obviously my trip was absolutely amazing and well needed. I have been working a lot, so I needed that vacation and that little bit of relaxation to really just lift my spirits and get me remotivated. And I'm there, I am motivated and I'm excited now that I'm home from my trip to get back to normal. I have been tracking my food since the Day I flew back from Hawaii. So I started tracking the morning I was dropped off at the airport and have been tracking this entire time. And like I said, I'm just focused on food because you can't out exercise a bad diet anyways. And really the only way to lose weight is to eat the right foods and be in a calorie deficit. So that is my focus until I can get back into the gym with my normal workout routine. So before I jump into the post vacation weigh in, let's talk about this week's WW workshop topic, which I really like. And this is how to simplify tracking. One of the most effective tools for weight loss is tracking your food. Not to mention weighing and measuring your food. These are essential for losing weight. How else do you know how many calories or points you're eating if you're not tracking your food? Learn to track smarter, not harder. Tracking is cumbersome, tracking can be annoying, and tracking can really be something that a lot of people struggle with. So learn to do it just a little bit smarter so that it makes it a little bit easier. There are some things you can do right inside the WW app to make tracking easier. Number one is you can use the WW apps search tools. Both the barcode scanner and the microphone on your phone's keyboard save typing time. So voice put in the foods that you're searching for rather than having to type them in. You can also snap a picture of your meal and then track it later. At least that way you can remember everything that you ate and you can even post that photo to connect for extra accountability. Save your go-to meals and recipes. Tap the search bar then create to group foods or ingredients or ingredients. Next time you'll track only one thing. It'll be saved in the app for you. Track similar restaurant dishes. If you can't find your meal in the WW database, no need to try to log every ingredient. Just find something similar. This is not an exact science, so just find something similar. You can also guesstimate your points at events. Instead of tracking a lot of foods, tap quick add and input some of the foods that you ate at the event and their total points. Again, the guesstimated total points. You can also pre-track a higher point meal. When you have a special event coming up, log it and then plan your week around it. Try a shortcut, then reflect. Did it save time and effort? If yes, cool, keep it up. If not, then go ahead and test drive another strategy. I will tell you that I pre-track my dinner every single day. That is the one meal every day that I know that I'm going to be eating. As you know, I meal prep, so I eat a lot of the same breakfast and lunch as well, so sometimes I'll even pre-track those. That way I know Know what's left, what money is left in my bank account for the rest of the day, for snacks, for desserts, even for breakfast. So I always pre-track what I can pre-track and that's been really important in my weight loss journey. Also remember this isn't an exact science. You don't have to track everything to the calorie or to the point. It's okay to guesstimate. There's a little bit of flexibility in both points and calories for those times when you just don't know exactly the points or calories in the foods that you're eating. Remember the point of tracking is awareness. It's not to keep score. It's not for it to be an exact science. It's for you to be aware of what you're eating. And this is why consistency will always beat out perfection. Guesstimating your points and calories is just fine. As long as you're consistent in doing that, you're consistent in tracking your food, you're consistent in staying in your points or calories, that's where you're going to see rewards. It's not about perfection. This makes your journey easier, saves you time, less daunting, and it's something that you'll stick with. 
when you make tracking your food easy, that's when you're going to stick with it. If it's something that's daunting, annoying, and frustrating, you're going to quit. So make sure that tracking your food is a top priority, but you take all of these little shortcuts, tips, and tricks to make it a little bit easier and you're working smarter, not harder when it comes to tracking your food. So I really like this workshop topic. I know for me that the thought of tracking can sometimes feel overwhelming. That's why I pre-track as much as I possibly can. And I've also, I've also been known to track everything at the end of the night when I'm really relaxing in bed watching TV before I go to sleep. That's another thing that I've done as well. And that's where sometimes taking pictures of your food can come in handy so that you remember what you ate throughout the day so that you can track it as accurately as possible. Remember consistency, not perfection when it comes to tracking your food. So now, now let's jump in to my post vacation weigh-in. Again, I was gone almost an entire week in Hawaii. I did not track my food. Actually, for a solid week, I did not track my food the day that I flew into Hawaii either. And again, I didn't pick up tracking again until flying home. So almost an entire week. I ate what I wanted. I had dessert every single day. I tried all the Hawaii foods, all the different fruits. We went to a luau. I ate a little bit of everything. We ate out for every meal except for breakfast. We actually cooked breakfast in our hotel room, which was great because I was able to really be in control over what I was choosing for breakfast, kind of setting my day off on the right foot, but every other meal was eaten out. And when I stepped on the scale, I actually lost weight. Who am I? Who am I losing weight on vacation? I am down. 0.8 pounds. That's almost an entire pound post vacation. And I weighed in one day after returning from Hawaii. So it is proof. I am proof that by being mindful and remember consistency outweighs perfection. I was consistent in making good food choices, watching my portions. One day we went out for lunch and I chose a burger, no bun so that I could eat some fries, just making some simple swaps and still enjoying everything that I wanted to eat on my trip to Hawaii. I was able to lose 0.8 pounds on vacation. So if I can do it, you can do it. Tracking, no tracking, being mindful, watching your portions, making sure that you're still in some type of calorie deficit can lead to weight loss even after vacation. So I will go ahead and pop up here on the screen what my total weight loss is so far on my journey. And like I always say, I'm inching closer and closer to my goal weight. I'm actually heading out for another little mini vacation here this next week. I actually fly to California on the 29th, which is a Thursday, and I am gone through that Sunday for for a nutrition conference, which I'm very, very excited about. It's kind of like continuing education for me for my nutrition certification. So I'm very excited for that. And it's another time of travel. It, and we'll see how my weight loss does after a second trip one week later from my big trip to Hawaii. And on that note, a reminder that there will not be a meal prep next Monday either. So I will have one here in a couple of days. So definitely stay tuned for that. But there will not be a meal prep the following Monday because I will just be returning from my trip to California. But all of my other content will be per usual up on my channel. So now I want to hear from you guys. Let me know how your week was. If you followed me on Instagram or in my Facebook group, if you enjoyed seeing all the photos that I posted from my trip, and of course, make sure you're subscribed and your bell's turned on so you don't miss Wednesdays, what I eat in a day, where we're going to go through my entire trip. I'm going to share my experiences with you, my reviews of the hotel that we stayed at, the tours that we took, and tons and tons of pictures. So let me know down in the comments how things have been for you. How was your way in? What do you think about this working harder, working smarter, not harder when it comes to tracking your food? And is tracking an issue for you? Let me know down in the comments. And of course, if you enjoyed today's video, give it a big thumbs up. Check out the description box for nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and of course, don't forget to come join my Facebook group. I'd love to have you. Happy Friday, friends. Happy weekend. And I'll see you in tomorrow's massive, and I mean massive, stock up grocery haul. Bye.